Derek Hall needs a chance at the big league level. So let's talk about it. Yo, what's going on everybody? So welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. So in today's video, we talk about should the Philadelphia Phillies give Derek Hall a chance at the big league level? So before we get started in today's video, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that like button to help me rank them on YouTube and for the algorithm to help push out my new videos. Also, hit the subscribe button with the notification bell on so you guys will be instantly notified when I upload a new video or multiple videos, couple gaming streams, or occasional live streams. Also, get in the comment section down below. Now, let me know what you guys think about uh, should Derek Cole get a shot at the big, big league level. Also, huge shout out to the people at Spotlight Sports Network for partnering with me. So let's keep this partnership going. Also, you can check out all my social media and Spotlight Sports Network social media, which is linked down below in the description. So go, go, check, go check that out. Also, go check out my merch shop too, which is also linked down below in the description. Also, you guys can check out my podcast series, Sports Talk Podcast, with Robert and Tyler every Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I'll put the link to the playlist down below. With that out of the way, let's jump right into this. So, as you guys read the title and thumbnail, should Derek Hall, should the Phillies give Derek Hall a chance at the big league level? I kind of say I kind of say yes because here's my reasoning for this. Uh, my reasoning because. And, I, and, you know, I know that you guys may agree to disagree, which is fine. Um, my, here, my reason is because, you know, obviously, Hassan is, is our primary first baseman. Well, that's that's a given. But the problem is, though, we don't have a really – we don't have a backup first baseman. That, that is the issue. Um, I know it's just like, you know, like, you know, we could put JT there. Like, if we did br uh, bring back uh, Brad Miller, I mean, as much as I l would like that, but the problem is, though – he is, uh, he is, he had to, he's a liability on defense. So I mean, I, I mean, I mean, kind of my idea is just, you know, give this kid a shot. You know, he's only twenty six years old. I mean, spent only spent five seasons in the minor leagues. You know, fourteenth, uh, fourteenth round draft pick. You know, uh, four hundred and seventh overall to the Philadelphia Phillies in twenty sixteen. I mean, it's time to give this kid a shot. You know, I mean, we, I mean, despite the fact. He's part of, obviously, right now he's at Triple A with the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. So, I mean, hopefully sooner, sooner rather than later, he's he can he's going to get that uh, that important call to the major leagues. I mean, um, but yeah, I mean, I just kind of feel like you know, honestly, he's another left-handed bat, which I think the Phillies should use could really help um, in the lineup, though. You know, because obviously. I mean, it's mostly right-handed heavy. So, I mean, it's like, you know, I think having another left-handed bat in the lineup, I think we could really help, you know, kind of, you know, at least add something into that. Because, obviously, with Harper being the only lefty that's in, in the batting order, despite the fact, you know, we have a couple switch hitters. But I just kind of feel like, you know, I think Derek Hall should be the another left-handed bat that the Phillies could have in the lineup when Hoskins needs to rest or use him as a pinch hitter coming off the bench. So, I mean, there's a lot of things you can actually d uh, do with Derek Hall, but since we're talking about Hall, I want to give it, you know, kind of read over his stats from this season and in, and his career stats overall in the minor leagues. So after this year, after the minor league season ended this season, he finished the year with 400 at bats, a 2.30 batting average, 14 home runs, 60 RBIs, zero stolen bases, and a 7.41 OPS. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's actually pretty decent. It's pretty decent, you know, to really start off, you know, a little bit of the journey and, the, you know, obviously in AAA, which is, you know, obviously the one step be uh, below the major league level. So, I mean, I think he's going to really improve going into 2022 with the Lehigh Valley Iron Picks. But career-wise, though, since he's been in the minor leagues, he has racked up um, almost has – 1,971 at bats, a 249 batting average, 98 career home runs in the minor leagues, 
344 RBIs, seven stolen bases, and an 808 OPS. So not that not to mention that he I mean, don't get me wrong, like the even though he's a prolific power hitter, but this guy can also run. So I mean he's got some speed. But also, you know, coming out of Dallas Baptist University. So I mean he can also also help you in the outfield too. He's a, he can also play left field when you really need him to. So he's another guy that can be very flexible, obviously being a first baseman and a left fielder too. I mean, I think I think at this point in time, I mean, just give this kid a shot, you know, just see what he can do here at the major league level. Because if he does, you know, turn out to be a success here at the major league level, just keep him up here because you never know when situations are going to call. Like, let's say, you know, give Hoskins a, a day off. Um, I mean, pretty much you're going to have have him come, you know, basically have Hall play first on the, like say on that specific day that uh, Hoskins is going to get the day off, that kind of thing. Well, what do you guys think? You know, do you think Derek Hall should be getting a chance at the big league level? You know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But with that being said, this is Robert from the Philly Sports Talk Podcast. I'll see you guys in the next video.